is telling you to uh, think up complex, difficult passwords that crack, things like mixing letters, upper and lowercase numbers, and punctuation into one mishmash for a secure password. We tell you to do that. However, it makes it extremely hard once you've forgotten your password to recover it. What happens if you forget that lost password? Believe it or not, Kevin, our dark tipper, has a way to crack. Well, people, let's, let's say recover. Recover. This is, this is, this is going to be, I'm going to show you some tools that are actually going to recover your lost password. Now, but it, it, this will work. Now, no, I know the dictionary uh, searches where you go, you, every word in the dictionary, but that's right. why we say don't use words out of the dictionary. Exactly. This we, will still crack it even if it's punctuation numbers and yeah, all. Yeah, let, let me show you. i got a couple right. different tools to show you today. The first one is called NT Password. And what it's going to do is it's a little image that you download and you, you copy it to a floppy disk. And you use this little program called, if you launch this here, this is a DOS window. It's called Raw Write. I'm sure you've heard of Raw yep. Write before. Yep. And it's going to write this Linux image to a disk. Now, this is good to do even if you haven't lost your password, because if you lose your password, you're not going to have any way to get on the Internet, and you're not even going to have any way to create this so disk So make in the one first of these place. disks now. Exactly. Make one of these disks now, store it in a safe place, and then if your friend loses the password or you lose your password, you can just throw this disk right into your computer, launch a utility, and it'll reset your password for XP 2000 or NT. This takes advantage of the fact that the XP password technique is not a very good technique. Frankly. Exactly. It doesn't use secure hashes. Now, so. it's not going to return your password. It's just going to reset <laughs> it, it for It resets you. it. Okay. So that's a, that's a nice little utility completely it doesn't, free. Uh, that's important. It doesn't recover it. It just resets it. Right. Now, I have one that will recover it here. This one is called... Uh, LC4. Now, this is also known as loft crack oh, in the past. this is the old loft crack, yeah. But now they've gone commercial, and yeah. they've created a product called LC4. Now, it walks you through a nice little wizard here. We're going to say retrieve from a local machine, and we're going to use a common uh, password audit, and then we'll just click next here through the options. And what it's going to do is you take a look here. It's found all the accounts on the computer. So here's the administrator, the guest, the help assistant, and the support. Now, these two are empty. These passwords right here are empty because they're used for miscellaneous things. Oh, we've already found one. Uh, we probably Holy should be cow. showing that on the air there. There's our password. <laughs> There's our password. Holy cow. But, but that wasn't a great password because it was just letters and numbers. Exactly. But, boy, what it did, uh, that was fast. That was fast. And take a look. If you look in the upper right-hand corner here, you'll see the dictionary status here. It looked through 20, it's looking through 29,000 So it's going to do the uh, dictionary, dictionary first. Words. Then it'll go to the brute force. After that, it moves on to the brute force if okay. it can't find it in the dictionary. Now, it's interesting because we really had a dictionary word followed by a number. Exactly. So it's obviously t checking numbers as well as dictionary. It does. In fact, that's in the session options here. You can look here. It says dictionary slash brute force hybrid crack, where it's going to uh, append two characters to the beginning so or the end. So it finds every dictionary word, then it puts some garbage. Exactly. So that's good to remember. If you've been using a dictionary word, you know, you've been using Poopsie, the name of your dog, one, two, that ain't going to do it. You don't want to do that. That ain't going to do it. <laughs> not, 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 not. So Loft Crack is free trial, but uh, it's worth checking out. It's, it's definitely good for network administrators How much is it well. if you have to buy it? That's a good question. It's I'm probably fairly expensive. It is. I think it they're, is I think they're expensive. for the... Uh, they're going for the gold. They're going for the network administrators that want to right. check like 15 or, you know, a few hundred different accounts to see if they have any users that have weak passwords. An old hack a hacker tool which is now being uh, used in corporate And if you America. really look around, you can find the old free one on the yeah, net. Yeah, you sure can. But uh, check this one out. Here's one more tool. This one's called Chat Recovery. And what it's going to do is it's going to look at oh, your local I need this. AIM and Yahoo. I keep Yahoo. forgetting my chat name. You forget your Yahoo my chat AIM. password, yeah. So check this, this out. Is, this, this, this works? We'll click on AIM here and then click on Accounts. And here's, oh, this is Prager's account. And uh, it's, it's going to show his password. It didn't even have to do a crack. It just decrypts. Let me take it's that out, well actually. Encrypted. I don't want to show his password. Too late. Too, We've too all late. seen it. Sorry, David. There goes Prager's password. Don't sign in under his account. David, if you're David around, change yeah, your just account. change that password. Sorry about that one. That happened the other day, didn't it? It happened to Dan, to Fufu. Yeah, it's ha yeah. Well, we get people that install this stuff all the time. But <laughs> one thing I did do is that I searched the web, and I got a bunch of different password uh, cracking and uh, recovery utilities. I put over 80 different utilities on our website. You're kidding. So, yeah, if you go to the website, Holy I found a bunch moly. of different lists. And you're gonna, it's going to crack everything from Windows ME 98, Windows Shares, Unix, Linux, Novell, Palm OS, Money, X, Office XP. Wow, that's great. You name it. There's just a huge amount of different cracked passwords that you can you can download these little utilities and it'll do it for you. Forget your password. You're not out of luck. Is there any password that you can't crack? Well, there's. Uh, I haven't found any. You know, <laughs> pretty much everything's crackable. I haven't found You're any PGP. Enough time. That's any the key. PGP. It will not utilities. crack PGP. Give, it, so, takes enough, it takes too much time. You can crack any password with enough, Give time. enough time. How much time it takes. So you definitely want to check that out. Screensavers.com has all the information. Thank you, Kevin. Don't go anywhere.